Mother of God, your hands are freezing. I said this to a woman recently in a salsa class and she looked at me and she said, I'm sorry, I have very poor circulation. You know, when you look at the modern world today, especially in the United States and developed countries, when you look at the statistics, the number one reason you and I are most likely to die is because of cardiovascular disease, AKA circulatory issues that then lead to a whole cascade of other health issues. Let's talk from a traditional Chinese medicine point of view about blood flow, circulation, and herbal formulas that can really, really help with blood flow. Hey guys, I'm Dr. Alex Hine, board licensed acupuncturist and doctor of traditional Chinese medicine and author of the health book, Master the Day. So let's jump in. So what's up with the cold hands and feet? Where is this coming from and what can we do about it? So when we're talking about cold hands and feet, we are obviously talking about circulation and blood flow. But for some people, the chronic reason they are having circulatory issues is just purely because they're nervous and they have high circulating levels of stress hormones. So for example, if you've ever gotten up on a stage to give a speech or to give a talk and you're noticing your breathing's becoming shallow, your hands are getting cold, even though mentally you're not actually saying anything or thinking anything, you're not mentally nervous because of the stress hormones it's secreting, you're feeling the vasoconstriction, right? You're feeling the cold hands and feet that's happening. So while some people have this chronically, other people run cold. It is their genetic temperament. And so they tend to be typically more like the anemic type I see clinically. They're thinner, they're more pale faced, they tend to have cold hands and feet, and they tend to really struggle with poor circulation. Now, a lot of these people often will struggle with, if they're women, menstrual irregularities sometimes, or sometimes anemia, but this kind of genetic or constitutional type often has poor circulation. Other people, it is really the anxiety or the stress hormone aspect. And finally, there can be medical conditions like Raynaud's. If you've ever seen the purplish, or even pink discolored fingertips or fingers of someone with brain nods, it's very distinct. There could be lots of reasons for poor circulation, but what can you actually do about it? What role do cold hands and feet play in traditional Chinese medicine? What is the origin? So for example, sometimes you have diabetics. Diabetics very common with long-term circulatory issues as a result of this uncontrolled blood sugar. And one thing that happens is that they will often get, for example, diabetic neuropathy. Sensations that range from numbness or burning or tingling or just lack of sensation in their extremities, particularly in their feet most often. What we have to do from a traditional Chinese medicine point of view, we say is move the blood. So we'd like to say that the blood status in Chinese medicine is related to liver function. The liver and the kidneys, we say, have the two main roles influencing blood circulation and blood warmth, if we want to use that, right? your body temperature. So for example, there's a strong correlation between what we call your resources or yang qi, right? Yang energy, if you want to use that term, and three factors. One is your body warmth and temperature, specifically your hands and feet and core. Two is your overall immune system functioning. Are you sickly or do you have a good immune system? And three is your amount of actual energy reserves, like physical energy, like I feel energized, I sleep well. These three factors we say indicate basically good vitality, good resources, good body temperature and warmth, which means also means good circulation, good energy. And then the third one is good immune system functioning. Ancient people observed that body warmth was strongly correlated with a good, strong physical constitution and lack of body warmth was not. So for example, when I see people coming in and they're a little bit more of like the sickly type, they tend towards being thin, pale, and on the colder side. We say that as someone who genetically has a weaker battery charge, they have literally weaker reserves, weaker yang qi. The battery is genetically slightly weaker than the average person. So sometimes these people have what we call a diagnosis of liver blood deficiency in traditional Chinese medicine. A lot of these different health issues can come from various organs in various locations, various physiological pathways. If you haven't checked out my guide, the root cause quiz, this organ is likely the cause of your symptoms from a traditional Chinese medicine point of view. It's the link right below this video and we actually go down in meticulous detail through each organ network the most common symptoms that you're likely to see in that organ network what other related organs are often affected as well as at the end we have a video list of like let's say if the spleen pancreas is your issue or the kidneys or the liver like we talked about what videos should i watch to have strategies to apply in my own life so they're all free download that free guide because it's really really comprehensive and will help you understand this diagnosis a little bit more. So let's talk about one famous formula here based on this one interesting study. So this one famous formula is called Dangwei Sunni Tang, Dangwei Frozen Extremities Decoction. This is something commonly clinically used and has a wide range of uses. But in this video, we're just going to talk about circulation. So they did a really interesting study in this one research paper. This paper here is called Herbal Medicines for Cold Hypersensitivity in the Hands and Feet, a Systematic Review and Meta-Analysis. Now, basically they compiled a list of research papers studying the effect of these traditional herbal medicines on your perceived body temperature and also objective temperature of extremities. So in one study, they actually basically had people plunge their hands into cold water, 
They measured the amount of time it took to get circulation back, so they had external ways of monitoring the surface temperature in the fingers. And here's what they actually found. They measured the peripheral blood flow by using what's called a laser Doppler flux meter. One particular study, the first trial, showed that one formula was better than the control, which was just lifestyle change, for recovering blood flow 10 minutes after the 30 second cold water test. The second one used the famous formula called Wen Jing Tong, and they found it was better than the control, vitamin E, for increasing the peripheral surface blood flow of the tiptoe. The third trial showed that this formula I mentioned, Dang Wei Suni Tong, was better than what they called Western medicine for changing the finger arterial blood flow. And the fourth trial showed that that same formula was better than what they called Western medicine for improving the nail capillary blood flow. So they had people with their hands in the cold water, they measured how long it took circulation to get back with a, a formula to try and some other kind of control. And they found that these formulas were very, very effective. Now that's no surprise because we utilize those formulas for improving circulation in various areas. Yes, it can be for Raynaud's when your hands are freezing. It can also be for poor circulation and hormone flow in the abdomen. And for women with irregular menses, we often utilize these formulas, Wen Jing Tong and Dang Wei Sini Tong. We utilize those for regulating hormones and regulating blood flow, basically to the reproductive organs, the reproductive system. And that's one of the ways we regulate the cycle and treat the pain that women are having with dysmenorrhea. Lots of reasons for cold extremities and poor circulation. These formulas are some of the commonly used ones. There can be lots of reasons ranging from, you're just genetically like that, lack of exercise, diabetes, Raynaud's, all kinds of things. But these traditional medicines are really, really effective for restoring that. Now, don't forget guys, I work with a limited number of new patients every single month in my clinic in Los Angeles or virtually via telemedicine. So if you'd like to reach out and book a visit with me, just go to dralexheim.com forward slash clinic or check out the info below this video. I've also launched a brand new online program, Introduction to Healing with Traditional Chinese Medicine, where we go into a lot of the common diagnoses you may get from an acupuncturist or TCM practitioner and some lifestyle practices you can do on a day-to-day -day basis just to live longer and live healthier. So you can check it out. The link is below this video as well. And before you go, I have a related video on this right up here.